Hi, I'm Anthony Bao, and I'm here to show you Droplet, a new learning tool for programming. Here we have a block editor. We have a palette on the left of all the different things we can do. Move forward, turn right. Let's try to make a triangle. We can see it run on the right and step through on the left. Our turn angle is wrong, so we'd better fix that. That should work. The unique thing about this block editor is that it shows you the text code behind the blocks and the relationship between the text and the blocks with this really intuitive animation. We can edit it and run it either way. So here I've just increased the pen thickness with a second argument. This program is kind of redundant because it's the same thing three times in a row, so maybe I want to add a loop. If I don't know how, I can just flip back into blocks and find the loop block. Let's see do something multiple times. That looks like what I want. Drag the blocks in, and it works. Plus, I've just taught myself the syntax for a for loop. The language that we're editing here is CoffeeScript, which is a real professional language used by web developers. This means that students using blocks write programs that run in real-world contexts and can leverage all of the data structures and programming constructs of a professional language. For instance, this fractal fern uses recursion to draw its leaves. It also means that students can dive seamlessly into editing real programs that other people have written. For instance, this fractal tree was written by a text programmer. As you can see, even comments in white space have been preserved. This is the CoffeeScript compiler itself. It is about 4,000 lines long and was written without beginners in mind at all. However, since our block editor works on any text program, we can still turn it into blocks and edit it in a kid-friendly way. Droplet is open source. You can find us on GitHub at dabbler0 slash droplet. We currently work for CoffeeScript, but are adding support for JavaScript as well, and would be excited to see contributors add languages of their own.